Jenny Ma Jenkins tells Jeezy, you're not allowed to divorce me. But she started dropping clues before we get to that clip. One thing that I could say, this divorce is getting nasty. Let's get to it. For me, if I'm really honest, um, knowing what I know now about who I married, I wouldn't have married him. I keep telling people that celebrity marriages are not to be idolized, and this Jeannie Mai and Jeezy situation is just more proof of that. Jeezy has filed for divorce from Jeannie after just two years of marriage, and Jeannie is reportedly having a really tough time, because now she has been left alone with a child when she never wanted to be a mother in the first place. Also, if you've been watching The Real consistently, I honestly think Jeannie wasn't even ready to have a baby with Jeezy because of her experiences, and also the fact that she was still healing from her divorce from her her first husband of 10 years. But fans are also saying Jeannie should have known better because Jeezy is a walking red flag who has a history of walking out on his previous partners after having kids. But that's not all the tea, y'all, because a video also resurfaced showing Jeannie seemingly fetishizing black men and saying she prefers to keep them, quote, on the side, end quote, if you know what I mean. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean, you know? That's why I, I married white men. That's what I like. Honestly, there is a lot to unpack here so let's just jump into it it's just crazy you hear all the time that when money can change people well divorce can really change people now we all thought that Jeezy and Jeannie were going pretty strong based on how they portrayed their life online so it came as a huge shock when Jeezy suddenly filed for divorce from Jeannie and according to court documents obtained by people Jeezy's filing says that he and Jeannie are currently living in a bona fide state of separation and that their marriage is irretrievably broken with no hope for reconciliation the document also states that Jeezy wants to share joint legal custody of his daughter with Jeannie who was born in January 2022. Like I said, this news was pretty out of the blue because just a few months ago, Jeannie and Jeezy celebrated their second anniversary. Jeannie, who was born to a Chinese Vietnamese father and a Vietnamese mother, surprised Jeezy with a trip to Vietnam for their anniversary. And she told people at the time, when Jeezy and I met, we bonded over the similarities and differences of our cultures. Now that we have a daughter blending our worlds, it gives even more meaning to explore Vietnam together as a multicultural family. What you're seeing with this relationship, Jeezy does have a history of leaving the women that he's with. Why? Alpha does not match Alpha. When it comes to Jeannie, her problem is she found the man that's stronger than the man that she was with. So she's expecting to look good in front of other people. See, to a woman, the more dominant she is and the more she finds a man to match how dominant she is, she feels that's a power couple and it looked good to others. But men are never thinking that. Men are always thinking traditional survival mode. We're talking about a real alpha male. He's looking to make all the money in order to take care of the women. But when you start gaining success, women see that they start to adapt to the man start to be the character that the man may like in her that's what genie and a lot of exes of jeezy were doing you were adapting to a high value man because he showed that he could be a provider but once these women had children what they did was switch into alpha woman mode where it's like okay i can just hire babysitters to raise the kids I'm going to take the notoriety and I'm going to still become this independent woman while Jeezy is kind of saying, hey, why don't you just be a mom and we live a regular family? And the reason for that is women start to live for the audience. They start to live for the crowd. That's why it's a bad thing for men when you get money to go get a woman who's already popular or women who's already seeking fame, because if she levels up to you and you show more notoriety to her, all she's going to do is take the attention and run with it. And that's what a lot of women have done when you get to high value men like Jeezy. You play the role because you like them. But once you lock in a child and you lock in a marriage, you switch and you start to become what society tells you to be, which is this hard working mom. One thing that we're seeing in Jenny Maya and Jeezy's situation is that everything that men have been complaining about with women being feminists and being strong women are starting to come true to light. Look at all the clippings of her showing that she has a temper, showing she has an attitude, showing that she's bossy, showing that she surrounds herself with yes men. But one thing about Jeezy, he's not a yes man. The only problem that Jeezy is making he can't see that the woman is acting the entire time. 
Men, it's best to not even get married because once you get married, the woman's going to change. Once they're having children now, they're changing. And we see that right in front of us. Loses all connection on how to actually be a feminine woman and traditional woman to a man because she only knows how to compete. Let's get to the next video. My girl Jeannie Mai has done it. She's finally done it. I knew she was going to do it. Jeannie Mai has contested the divorce from Jeezy. And I have the documents here to show it. I knew this was coming. You guys, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell. And you guys who are subscribed, make sure you thumbs up these videos so YouTube knows that you like this type of content. All right, so on today, September 18th, it's been documented that Jeannie Mai has filed to contest the divorce from Jeezy. So when I looked up these documents a few days ago, when the divorce was first announced, it did say uncontested. And I believe I showed you guys because I was showing you guys what I was able to see and what I was not able to see. And at the time, there was nothing from Jeannie in the files at the time. Like when it was first filed, it was just everything J. Wayne, J. Wayne, J. Wayne. J. Wayne is the petitioner and everything in the file said J. Wayne. And it also said uncontested because there was no response from Jeannie. But I noticed today the status of the case has changed. The status of the case has changed and now it says contested. So a few days ago, you see here when it says October 19th, 2023, 30 day contested and it has a hearing time. That used to say uncontested. The whole case status has changed now to contested. But initially, they were scheduled to have a hearing on the state, October 19th. But now today, since the divorce has been contested, they updated the hearing date until October 24th. They've assigned a judge and now is officially a contested divorce. And so as far as the documents that have been added into the file that we can take a look at and see what's going on, they've added in this document that says notice to attend 30 day status conference and it's going to be via Zoom. The 30 day status conference is going to be like a check in to see where they're at at that time. And so both Jeezy and Jeannie are required to show up at this check in or at least have their attorneys show up at this check in where they're going to review the status of the case. Okay, why is Jeannie contesting this divorce? The reason is she has an image to protect. She told her husband of 10 years, ex-husband, that she couldn't have kids, left him alone, went into Jeezy, and immediately started having kids as soon as they got married. She does not want to be looked at as a baby mother, especially after saying she did not want children. You have to understand, her ex has already moved on gotten married and started having children with another woman and she got with Jeezy had children before the ex-husband now the ex-husband is still married having more kids and she's going through a divorce and she's going to be a single mother no that was not the image she was been trying to put off she can't be a single mother on the real after talking the trash that she's been talking acting how she's been acting it's going to completely make her look like a loser to her. That's what you got to realize. She keep up in the standards. She's trying to live this fairy tale life at 42. She waited a very long time to paint the picture. The only thing is she did not have the mindset for the picture that she's trying to paint. In my opinion, it's going to be hard to get a man to change. One thing about men. If the man does something wrong and the woman files for divorce, chances are her and the man could work it out because women are emotional, but if they love a man, they're very forgiving. One thing about a man, if he goes to divorce, especially a man like Jeezy, who has done this before, like he's not settling for that crap. So he knows how to walk away and he's rich enough to walk away because technically she has her own money. When he goes to get a divorce and he thought he was getting something good, he thought he was getting a nice traditional Vietnamese woman and now she's completely just like all the other women he tried to get away from. It's going to be hard to work it out. Men do not operate like women. Alpha males don't. Alpha males are going to say, I can get better women. Women don't care if I have three kids by other women because I'm that rich. Look at Nick Cannon. Look at how many kids he has. So it works differently. But on Jenny Mai's end, this is going to make her image look bad to walk around as a single 
baby mother after saying you didn't want kids talking trash on your marriage she's already looking bad with everything that's coming out she has to save it because she has to save her image but in my opinion i think Jeezy is completely done one thing about alpha women that you don't understand when men get sick of you, they get sick of you. And this is what a lot of black women are not getting. A lot of black dudes are sick of the attitude. With Jeezy, he was used to this attitude with B-dubs. And now he's getting it from a woman that he thought was going to be traditional. Passport bros, I hope you guys are paying attention. Because just because you may go to another country and get treated like a king for a little bit of time you see what happens when they come back over here and they get that western mindset it never fails hopefully you guys are getting the message behind the videos comment like subscribe to both of my channels hasta la vista